Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. And what you got here? Ooh, as I unlocked the classic girl t-shirt. It's a very sped up CEO in pajamas because... Alright, this mission just kind of goes well, but it looks really cool sped up to me. I don't know why. It actually reminds me of when... Uh, You'd watch the old Street Hawk uh, things and they would do super pursuit mode. Like the bike was going 300 miles an hour, but really all they did was speed up the footage. That's, you know. Can't you see it? But at any rate, so I did this mission. Just a simple cell mission. Nothing really, you know, out of sorts with this. I believe there's some, some shooting and, and stuff like that that goes on. Yes, yeah, so and then they come after me, and they almost killed me here. They, they pinned me out and almost killed me. Threw down some mines. Uh, there is a high... Oh, here we go. We shoot some more people there. For some reason, the guys on the tractor started coming after me, too. That was just weird. Okay, some of that was kind of cool. I did the highlight. I pulled that out as a separate highlight in, in regular speed. There's a great move coming up here. Check this out. Dun, 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 oh, no, no, oh, yeah, there we go. You can see that tumble in, in real time in another video at some point. Oh, dear. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Golf Cart. And drop this one off. But what's interesting is what happens at the end. Because what happens at the end is... I decided to try and f see what happens to the van. Like, after you're done with it, you're supposed to leave the area. What happens if you go back to the area? And that's the larger part of this video. It's, it's kind of an interesting, you know, interesting things go on here. Or at least boring things go on, perhaps, that I didn't expect, so we, which makes them interesting. So, Let's see, we don't have too much further to go here. The last drop-off's coming off. This is where you have to defend the, the client. Because they're in trouble and you have to park. Why you can't stay in the truck and use the gun, I don't know. But that's okay, I've got a gun. We can just do this. Just, those tractors kept coming after me. It's a boogity, boogity, boogity. Yeah, I know, it's a little nauseating, but we just want to get to the, the good part. And yet, we wanted to see the whole way this all transpired. Okay, now I have to leave the area. Catch you later. I got this car. Oh, Fudo. Fudo's always, you know, I love a Fudo. Yeah, they're a slippery little quick little sports car. Not good for racing, but tremendous amounts of fun. Gotta leave the area. Normally when I leave the area, I leave the area on foot. Just admiring all the handiwork here. I'm trying to see what happens, you know, behind me. So it caches out. And you leave the area. Kick it around. What's going on? Did it all disappear? Which I expected everything to be gone. All the blown up cars appear to be gone. We get reset the cell. But! But! And this is a big but. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. This is, um... There it is! There's my van! Somebody's driving it away. Something's blowing up somewhere. Okay, you made the sale. We finally got currency to run through the tills at this place. All anyone drinks nowadays is bottled fucking water. Okay. The profits, minus the laundering fee will be in your account soon. What you notice is somebody showed up on an oppressor and is now chasing my van, thinking I'm in it. Thinking they can ruin my day. My sale is done. But they're tracking this guy. I'm right behind him. He's not shooting at me. I don't know if the van is indestructible. Somehow I get a wanted level. I don't know why I got a wanted level. That makes no sense. I did nothing wrong. Did the, the van shoot at somebody? And I got the blame. Don't know how it happened, but somehow I got the blame. 
Now, I don't want to lose track of this van. Now I gotta know what happens to it. Will someone else blow it up? I think it was worth it enough to me. Yep. Lester. Lester. Ah, if it isn't my creepy silent friend, how can I help? Okay, my friend. I'll take care of the LSPD. Leave it to me. Alrighty then. So here we are. Now You can see it's been it's been damaged, but it's still rolling. I don't know if it's invulnerable right now. From like being actually destroyed. The man can take some explosives anyway. And now I'm speeding some things up because I just decided to follow it around. Just follow the van around. Oh, you can see he's he's following traffic. Although periodically, when the road would open up, he would open it up. He's not he's not tied to this to the speed limit. But there's a car in front of him, and he's gonna follow the car in front of him. Doesn't go for the pass necessarily. Six and a half hours later. Now we'd already gone around this loop once, and now I mean, I, by this point, I have been following him for nigh on to 45 minutes. No, seriously, I wanted to know what was going to happen. And it became clear that this just becomes uh, an NPC. It just becomes another car driving around, except it's a car with a machine gun. And now you're going to see in a little bit why that matters. He drives into that van for no reason. All right, we go around. He takes off. All right, we're zipping now. Now, is it going to go someplace? He stops for no reason. And at some point up around the bend, I'm like, you know what? This, this is there's nothing going on here. Can I make something happen? Does it notice if I do like little bumpiness? Like, oh, let's bump it. I'm just taking pictures of it running along. How often do you get to see basically your own van? Give it a bump. Well, that's just nauseating. Pretty close. Hang with me. Hang with me, folks. This is where it gets funny. And yeah, stop the zigging and zagging and back and forth and getting bored with following this guy after 45 minutes. Bump. We're almost there. Hey! That's a warped version of the horn I put on that car, I think. Why doesn't the why doesn't the horn work right? They realized just now. He might have been trying to lay mines, and now he's shooting at me. I'm just in complete flop panic mode. But then the guy gets out. Now I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. I'm sorry, I just bumped you. I do have to protect myself, but all right, let's just bump it. Okay, that shouldn't kill him. All right, let's just run away. But someone else starts shooting at him. Oh, it's an NPC uh, bar fight here. People driving over the... Oh, it's just... This guy gets out of his car. Oh, no, there's a truck crashing into another car in a panic. And he's shooting at this guy, and this guy's dead, Well, I'll get his 16 bucks. The cars are stacking up behind the van. There's a gunfight between the NPCs. They're all trying to kill each other. Oh, the carnage. Oh, the humanity. And, well, what do you do now? I don't... I could try to steal the, uh, the van again. But I don't think that'll work, and I don't want to lose this car. At this point, I've decided this car has been part of something epic, and I want to keep it. I want to keep this Fudo. Even though I have, you know, a couple Fudos already, I want the third Fudo, because this one's epic. Police are coming, or fire trucks, or something. Ambulance! There you go, to try and revive people, and that never works. So I think, uh, what do we do? I'll try to bump it out of the way of the other cars. 
Dum da 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 ba 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 ba. However you want to do the the X Files thing, I don't want to get copyright struck. It's gone. Um. Um. If I bump that one, does it go away? No. Okay, this is now officially all too weird for me. I'm just. And this is where I just, I said, you know what, I'm keeping this car. I don't know if I'm going to mod it up. I don't know if I'm going to keep it as it is stock. Uh, I think that will probably be determined by how well this video does. If I get, you know, 10 hits, then maybe I'll I'll turn it into something really cool, and, you know, with all kinds of funky pipes and wings. If, if this becomes something that, you know, goes even a little bit viral, even by my standards, then, uh, then maybe we'll keep it just this way. Now... I know what you're thinking. Did, you know, Black Knight, did you really follow those guys around for 45 minutes? Yep, I did. And that's what the bonus footage is going to be. You're going to get to see it. Sped up, of course. I wouldn't do that to you. This is your Black Knight. Have a great night. and Here you go. 45 minutes. Sped up. Sorry, Dev. I only want to kill Diaper. He cool dude. He lying. He came to kill you. Lethal diaper. That's apparent there because, you know, if you're a parent, you know the meaning of a lethal diaper. This goes on for a while. I have this here for history. That's the only reason we have this going. Just so you can see that, nope, I really did follow the sucker. I just realized, because I'm voicing this over after the fact, oh dear, what's gone? It went black for a moment, but that's not it. It just glitched. Something in the, the rendering of the video went poop. You could still hear it. You could hear the car was still there. It's just you couldn't hear it. You didn't see anything. I just realized because I'm, I'm now watching this video and recording a new set of videos over this video, I have to let this play out. It'll be the simplest way to, to do, you know, to do the editing. As opposed to trying to cut and paste and find the exact point. Yeah, look at that. It is glitching out every so often. Ah, it's glitched. Not the glitch. Get rid of the... What are you... Stop it! Why is that doing that? I'm trying to get it to play again. If it's... If it's... See, I don't have the original footage, so there's, this is just... If it's glitched out like this... Okay, let's... It comes back in a second here. We'll just back it up a little bit. Come on, there we go, we're back again. President Lethal Diaper. That makes for one hell of a, uh, a press conference. President Lethal Diaper, President Lethal Diaper. <laughs> Through the towns, I keep thinking, will it pull in here? would pull into a specific garage. Because that would be... Why didn't they do that? Why didn't they set this up so that it would pull into an actual garage? And just be gone. Why didn't it come back to your uh, your nightclub? Like, oh, we returned the van. Because you can see through the window there's nothing in there. So the, the, the cargo's gone. Yeah. How much time have we got here? It's 14... I think we got like about 8 minutes here or something like that. And there's such hostility going on. It's all so unhappy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Going around the blocks. Really, I did not need to follow them as far as I did. This is so largely pointless.
So it gives you an appreciation for exactly how much this game has to process. I mean, every one of these cars. Its own path and probably plotting a way to ram into you. You know? All the people walking around. Just basically cannon fodder. But some of them have pistols that will randomly shoot at you if you do something wrong. I think I made this, I turned this to Uku in case somebody blew me up. I had to quickly jump on the bike on the oppressor just to continue following the van because we're getting into the downtown. A little bit of a bump there starting, you know. Nobody ever did. This is. You know, that it's just a matter of that's why I switched over from CEO to Ukuk. And of course, Ukuk, that, that goes back to um, stuff that went on back in the mid 2000s. We had Operation Ukuk where we all got into our spaceships and freelancer and pretended that we were genetically enhanced uh, gorillas. And all we would say to everybody else in chat was Ukuk as we shot at them. And it was really, you know, not that successful because it was a really quiet night. Oh, this guy just... I don't know what happened there. It was really kind of a quiet night, so not much really happened. But it became a running joke among the, the team for a long time. To the, to the extent that, you know, me and Mr. Bonkers, that's how we end every conversation. Uku. And on that uku note, well, I'll, let, I'll let this play out. You can see I just chased this guy around forever. It's just proof of chasing. This is your black knight. Have a great night. Okay, I'm back temporarily. Here, I just had a thought. What if later on, when 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 that guy turned the gun on me, what if when you heard the horn going off, what if he was trying to lay mines, and it was glitching out with the horn that was put into it, but it couldn't lay the mines because it doesn't have mines when it's in this, like, something glitched out and that's why the horn was all warped out. But you, that was it. He was trying to blow me up. Would have been effective if he dropped a mine on me. That would have been that, but right now I'm just driving along, following. Man, he went for a rare pass there. Alright. How much more we got? A little bit more. A few more minutes.
Oh, here we go. We're almost back to where we finally got frustrated and started bumping into him on a more frequent basis. And I believe the video just cuts out when it gets to that point. Yep, this is the first loop around, and then... It's when he goes around for the second loop. That's when I, I, I slowed it down and then we, we saw what happened. Wee! Up, see, we're back around again. <laughs> 